Today, I will be doing a tutorial on how to install and set up OS Ticket in CentOS. Before we begin, let's go over the prerequisites that you will need. For the web server, you'll use Apache. For the PHP version, we recommend version 7.3. For the MySQL database, you can use version 5 or above. I personally use 5.5.6. Now, we can go ahead and download the latest version. Since my CentOS virtual machine does not have a GUI, I will download the files to my computer and then transfer them over to my virtual machine. Visit osticket.com download and choose the options you would like. For this tutorial, I will choose version 1.12.2 without any language packs or plugins. Once your download completes, you can go ahead and unzip the folder. Now, I will transfer the upload folder to my virtual machine. To do this, you will need some type of file sharing tool like FileZilla or Transmit. Personally, I prefer to use Transmit. Keep in mind, you must be able to write to the directory you are moving the files to. So first, I will transfer them to the writable directory, and then I will move them into the folder where they will reside. Now that I have the files on my VM, I will move the upload folder to var www.html. At the same time, I will rename the upload folder to OS Ticket. Next, you'll need to go ahead and create your database. Remember, your MySQL user will need to have full privileges to the database. I will create the database using the command line, but remember, you can always use tools such as HeidiSQL, MySQL Workbench, or my personal favorite, SQL Pro, to manage your database. You will just need to use your SSH credentials to connect to your database. Go ahead and run the following command where root is your MySQL user. Next, you will be prompted to type in your password. Now, I will create the database and name it OS Ticket. You can confirm that your database was created by using Show Databases. And there it is. Now you can go ahead and exit MySQL. After you've created your database, you're ready to set up your installation. Type your help desk URL into a browser and you'll see the step-by-step -step installation guide for your help desk. For my VM, the URL will be 192.168 Point seventy point nine slash OS ticket slash SCP. We will need to make sure that we have the correct files with correct permissions in place so that the installer can set up the help desk correctly. You can just copy and paste the commands shown on the screen to create your OST config file and give it the proper permissions. Make sure you've navigated to your OS ticket folder before you do this. Now you will need to fill out the information for your help desk.
The default system email is the email your customers will send tickets to. This is something you can continue configuring later. The admin email you put in along with the password is what you will use to log in to your help desk. The next section is for connecting to your database. The table prefix will be placed before the name of each table in the database. We suggest using OST underscore. Your MySQL host will typically be localhost. The database name is the database we just created, OS Ticket. Finally, you will put in your MySQL username and password. This completes the installation. Now you can configure your help desk by going to your URL and typing slash SCP at the end. You can also see the option is right here for you to just click on. For more help, you can go to our documentation website, docs.osticket.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and to see more helpful videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. Useful links are in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.